Welcome to the Deadly Addictions channel. I am Joseph F. Alsis, Addiction Master on social media. I'm going to be talking about the long-awaited Justice League Snyder Cut. Wow. This was fan-driven. You know, first off, I'll say in preparation, I watched the original I guess you, I don't know what you want to call it these days, Josh Whedon cut, and stayed away from reviews, um, most talk about it in that sense. I'm not a big fan of a lot of his work, Zack Snyder, but looking at some of his movies, I started realizing I do like Dawn of the Dead, 300, Watchmen, uh, I even enjoy Sucker Punch, and I'm not saying they're good movies, and a critical, you know, objective sense, whatever. It's just, you know, I enjoy the movies. And Man of Steel sucks. Uh, Batman vs. Superman is horrible. Um, and he's been all over everything as a producer and writer, whatever. I don't have a dislike for him as a person, in a, in a sense. I don't know enough about him. In, or I didn't know enough about him, I should say. So... The Snyder Cut is released, and I think it's just a product of its time. Perfect uh, web streaming. We got a pandemic. We got lots of fans who love the idea of having Snyder's vision come to fruition. And I'm all for that. Victory for a creative, um, the creative process. I'm giving char principle of charity in the sense that I don't care. Josh Whedon's an asshole. If Zack Snyder's an asshole, if this is all bullshit, you know, all the things you hear about the WB and AT&T and fucking chairman and people signing things off fast to get bonuses. This is tons of stuff. Lots of behind the scenes craziness. I just want to first talk about my feelings and my experience with the Snyder Cut try to get a little bit of a balance between what I feel and what I think is objectively good or bad but coming away from it I had to really think and although I wrote stuff and did my notepad outline I don't like to read off it when I do uh, stuff with movies maybe it's this further engagement down the line fine do more deep dives but I might be a little bit all over the place. I did not like the Snyder Cut. I think it sucks. That's right off the bat. I'll get that out of the way. I don't think this was worth the time. I don't think it had any um, real reason to be made. And that's where I sit with my experience with it. It was just more boredom, more draining of color, more draining of life. And there seems to be, for me, a, a vision of he doesn't give a fuck. He doesn't care. He wants his nightmare vision to come to fruition. This is why Man of Steel is the way it is, why Batman v Superman is the way it is, because he wants us to Live in a world where when Lois dies for some reason, Doxy could put his hand on his shoulders and consult Superman and Superman will be evil and mean because Batman let Lois die. And it's all over everything. It's just what I feel about his um, end goal here. Why everything is dreary and dark and fucking drained of life and color. Why everybody acts like monsters and idiots. And why he goes out of his way to portray it that way. I don't think any progression with the characters that you gain from this. Is worth all the shit that comes with it. All the bullshit. Boredom. Shit that doesn't make sense. Call it whatever you want. Indulgence. Whatever. This to me more seems like. Just a. You know, product of its time in the sense that it's an opportunity to make money, get it out. His vision of um, 
making this Justice League come true. I think it's all bullshit. He, and I mean he by Zack Snyder, had, let's say, two years. It's actually four years since the Justice League came out. Whatever. Four or five, whatever. He had time to not only fix the issues that came up in general, because Josh Whedon didn't direct the whole first movie. Zack Snyder was doing the movie, left. Now, whatever you want to believe, he was getting fired. He used his daughter's death as a thing. I don't care. I'm going to give everybody principal charity that they went in trying to do their best. And if you like the movie, that's fine. I like horrible shit. Sometimes shit that is embarrassingly bad. But I like it. It clicks for me. Whatever. Like the movie as much as you want. Um, uh, you know, whatever. But I don't believe everybody went in with uh, evil intentions, but looking at it now, there is that Zack Snyder's vision isn't what he cares about the characters. It's about he cares about his vision. Fine, that's not uh, evil Hitler fucking shit. But he has all this time to correct his own mistakes. He then sees Josh Whedon's mistakes and correct them. And there's so much stuff that Josh Whedon was blamed for that was actually Zack Snyder, which he fixed, or he covered up to please the fans. Fine. Great. All this hindsight, all this fan reaction, all this input, good or bad, critics, whatever. You made a four-hour movie that is fucking worse. Which leads me to believe that this fucking asshole, Josh Whedon, came in with a huge pile of shit and did his best to fix your fucking nightmare. This is horrible. I don't care about the masterpiece that people think it is or how successful it is. Good, break all the records, make billions of dollars, whatever. I don't care. Anything could happen. I could have fucking uh, dog fart and get millions of subscribers on YouTube. Like I, it just whatever. On every level, looking at the Josh Whedon cut, you can see all the fucking things he tried to do to fix this dreary, lifeless, horrible fucking universe of the Snyderverse. And I'm glad for the victories of the creative process. There's, you know, just so much you can do. You want to get your vision out. I'm fine with it, you know. But it just, in the end, doesn't feel right. This is a four-hour movie, and it wasn't... It doesn't feel like a product of love. It's like a fucking, I don't know, indulgence, ego fest, whatever. It just feels fucking dirty, and, and it just doesn't feel right watching these fucking scenes these extended bullshit scenes the movie's two hours and 40 minutes is 24 minutes of fucking slow motion i think 24 minutes of slow motion and you want to play with characters you want to get the flesh well you know what the flesh is not as good this fucking scene is stupid with the fucking car and the dogs and the the hot dog this bullshit, you ain't capturing the Quicksilver moment. It happened, it passed. You're not going to grab it. Use the most fucking horrible songs. And you'll take out the life that Josh Whedon put in for your vision. Great. But you don't improve things by making things that much worse. His whole arc, just bullshit. It's just, you get to the end of the movie and Josh Whedon's going what do we fucking do here this is a nightmare all right let's have Flash save people beat up some of the bad guys and make a joke about all the gook on them but Snyder's original vision was save nobody run around in a fucking circle do fucking nothing so I can have a beautiful looking scene at the end and it's all garbage He's going around, he has to build up this supercharge, and fuck spoiler cuts, right? Just whatever, spoilers and plot. Uh, like I said, I'm going to be all over the place. He spins around to get his charge up, and Cyborg is ready for it, 
he shot with a laser blast. Oh shit! Go, you know, bullshit. He's he has to start over, but he can do it in a, in a split second now and go back in time. Wow, we know how to go back in time and save the world. Batman, his fucking scenes are cut out with Wonder Woman. They left. They they left it obvious that Lois Lane shows up from sheer luck. Say what you will about a couple of added scenes is magic fucking gauntlets that absorb fucking energy and whatever. I look at the Batman vs. Superman and I love his scene in the warehouse. When they came out with that extended cut or director's cut, I can see the improvements on it, it made on a shitty fucking movie. I don't see this as an uh, improvement on Jack's, Zack Snyder's shitty movie that he wanted to correct because his vision wasn't proper. This seems like, oh, shit, what am I going to do? Let me make it as much different as uh, Josh Whedon's. Let, let's make it look like the whole movie has fucking cancer. It's just devoid of any vibrance in life. And because of my vision, I'll take out really cool stuff that Josh Whedon put in because I have to fucking make it my vision. It has to be Zack Snyder's Justice League. So where's Josh Whedon's Justice League? Does he get his fucking cut? Because I know for a fact that if from scratch Josh Whedon made a Justice League movie, it would have been a blockbuster billion dollar hit. And if this movie, with all Zack Snyder's hindsight, with all his past knowledge, if this movie was what was produced and put out in 2017, it would be lumped in with his garbage of fucking Batman vs. Superman would have been a disaster. Because you wouldn't have been had a four-hour movie out. As a matter of fact, I think they made Josh Whedon go from two and a half hours to two hours. So good. Go fund me. Go get your own world, whatever. But it might be over for the Snyderverse. And I'm okay with the fucking fans getting all riled up. And look, you love something, you love something. I wrote a book about fucking people doing drugs and mixing it with kung fu. And he's like... Uh, you know, so so so. If there's a little niche of people that love it, and a lot of people don't. I get it. Get your uh, voice out there. You love Zack Snyder's work, fine. You love this cut, I'm okay. I'm not gonna, you know, you love what you love. But I like to be a little honest and say what shit that I like. There's no way in the world I go back and I watch this over and over as my Justice League fix. No, I'm going to watch the Whedon cut, which I have watched over and over. I've got a podcast on it. It's By the way, Josh Whedon's Justice League is not a good movie. And neither is this. But I can get enjoy Josh Whedon's version, get through it, and feel like someone made an effort to put the Justice League on the fucking cat on the screen. This is not what this is. So, Batman, some of the reasons and motivation, even getting Martha is cut out, and you know it was Josh Whedon fixing nonsense. The cyborg, give him new shit, right, but let's make him fucking, uh, Molecule Man, like, what are you doing? What was the struggle, and he's got... Everything at his fingertips. He can reconstruct a tape recorder. Make, let's say it's a dad. You know, the little, you hold it in your hand, you record, and you play it back. Classic thing in the movies. He can shatter it and reassemble it. Not go in and redo the digital code or do deep fakes. And, no. So he's a mother box that can do a whole bunch of shit. And when fucking Superman comes back from the dead... And he fucking goes to kill him. It's for really no reason. And you can see Josh Whedon got the fucking movie and went, what the fuck is this? All right, we got to put in a little bit more. Let's cut this shit out with, what's his name? We'll have his father live, right? Because you got a great fucking actor. And you want to smile sometimes in the fucking movie. Even if it has a dark tone. So Josh Whedon says, okay, let's make it like he's learning and it, he's got new code in his scenes to say he doesn't know what's going on there's a scene to set up a defensive mode 
And what happens? Superman comes to life, and he, he's he, he does, his body's under control. They go to attack him, and it sets up a fight that they want to have. Well, no, you know, Zack Snyder can't have that. You gotta have Murder Man. And I'm all for fucking carnage. Man of Steel sucks balls, but when Superman puts the suit on in that last 40 minute fight, I'm watching a cartoon. I'm, I'm enjoying it. Break as many buildings as you want, kill as many fucking civilians. I'm not gonna get too upset about it. To me, it's just Else World stuff. Is there a valid argument that you can hurt the characters? Sure. Look at Grant Morrison in the comics. They let him take over. Fucking his animal man is fucking spectacular. As a comic book writer. But they give him control of everything and he's just a fucking lunatic. Final Crisis is one of the worst fucking things ever in the comics. You know, and okay, so I could see the argument, but in a way it doesn't bother me. If someone wants to bring it up, okay, sure, that might be a valid argument. Like, you know what, take it away from Zack Snyder. No. You know what you have to do now? Zack Snyder's Snyderverse, go fund me it. Get your rich fucking people, get the rights, let them make your dark universe. I'm fine with it. Make it. But this was a bullshit. This is a whole bullshit fucking act. This whole fucking thing. It just seems like it just added nonsense for no fucking reason. Wonder Woman, right? I was wondering why I kept thinking while I'm watching it going where's this scene with that red shawl or that thing she's wearing around her and she's talking to Bruce because it's important and it's I guess Josh Whedon so it's not in there none of the colors in there holy shit just and like I said so Superman could Superman, I don't care about the damage too much I don't let it bother me so I don't care about Wonder Woman beating people, splatting their brains against the wall in front of children. It wasn't too hard on me. But you know what Josh Whedon did? He kind of cut it down. He took the blood out, I think, which I didn't. I don't agree with. But when she slams her god power together, her end game, her final fucking combo, whatever, and disintegrates the guy while she has plenty of time to stop him, blows out chunks of the wall of this fucking museum or wherever it is injures and kills fucking police as rubble fucking shoots into the street and then she goes and tells a little girl that she could be whatever she wants no Josh Whedon looked at that one and said this is fucking stupid and by the way I don't mind that she's brutal with them I don't care I've watched her snap people's necks in the comics I'm all for it but some things just make sense. Make it ambiguous. Josh Whedon cuts it. As soon as her braces go together, you see the light. It fades in the transition. No, they want to show the walls blown out, big chunks of rubble slamming into police everywhere and people on the street. So she could turn around and comfort the children that she just traumatized. That, you know, more traumatized. Okay, because, you know, fucking terrorists come in the building. So I don't buy it. You can see the effort Josh Whedon put in. I keep him defending this fucking guy. I know I love some of his work. Superman, right? Let's make his default position a murdering maniac. Right? Not a... Uh, Josh Whedon did some uh, Pet cemetery joke, right? Uh, okay, yeah. It's a little more cringy. It's got more jokes. Fine. And they have it set up where Batman is going to get Lois just in case something goes wrong. And Batman says to him, oh, the world needs you. And there's like this confusion in Superman's face. In Snyder's cut, he just goes to kill everything and everybody. So, Murder, heat vision. Fucking heat vision. Try to kill right off the bat. All right, you got some superheroes, right? He goes to murder Flash, who all of a sudden, with one fucking line, is uh, his biggest fan or whatever. His fucking hero. He, Superman was his hero. Just bullshit. He goes to murder Flash, and some fucking uh, army guy shoots him with like a 50 cal off a truck. You know, blah, 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 blah. 
Superman murders people. He fucking heat visions these fucking military trucks. Explosions, people try to get out of the fucking way. You see the guy jump out. It's just fucking ridiculous. Because Zack Snyder wants the nightmares. He wants a soup he wants a world that's gonna accept people going bad and doing evil shit. Fine, I don't care if that was what you wanted to do. Do it good. You're a fucking Oh my god, like I can understand. I watched the three hundred. I love that movie. I'm not even a fan of the Watchmen comic. I think it's overrated, but I like the movie. Sucker Punch is ridiculous. And ever since he's gotten into this fucking DC Snyderverse bullshit, it's been nothing but blah. Just drained of everything. And it says he's horrible at this. Even horrible at hiring the people. Get somebody to lock them down, to keep them in barriers and make the best of them. You could see why Josh Green had to come in and fucking cut so much shit out of this fucking movie. There's a scene with Martha Wayne and Lois Lane. And Zack Snyder has this great fucking idea. Hey, you know what I'll do? I'll take this scene and... I'll fucking add a scene and make it that it's the Martian Manhunter. <gasps> They're like, the Martian Manhunter to come in and give her advice about coming back to the living and all this shit. Because he wants to tag his little fucking teaser shit in it. It makes no fucking sense. And Josh they put another um, scene in to, because he had to cut that bullshit or, you know... He added a scene to uh, reestablish or reinforce that relationship between them. And it's undone because Zack Snyder wants to come up with his cool fucking things and add them in. So, yeah, let's bring the Martian Manhunter for no fucking reason, making no sense. And he's going against the plot. He's like, hey, Martha, go back to the living. So it's her last time going to the visit the grave and she's just in time to fucking make sure Superman doesn't murder the Justice League and everybody else in the area. Stupid shit. The whole thing falls apart. It's just fucking dumb. Style over the substance to the maximum. The villain has only been shifted. The whole premise. Why Steppenwolf was bad is now just put on Darkseid and made worse. So instead of Sephmuth trying to become, uh, to elevate his status, to redeem himself and fix everything or do whatever the fuck he was doing in the Justice League, they just made that dark side's motive. And Sephmuth's just as lackey to make up for past failings. And what did they do with one of the best villains ever created? They do what everybody thought Worried about with, and I worried about with, with Thanos. The dark seed is, was bitched. He was fucking cocked. He was pushed to the side. He was just embarrassed. Here's the big DC guy. You don't have enough exposition. You don't have enough talking and narration. Your new Wonder Woman scene with her fucking going looking at cave drawings and stuff, did not flesh it out enough. You didn't have a narration or something that says, you know, young Darkseid in his quest to get the throne from his father, uh, searches for the anti-life equation and gets his ass kicked on Earth. The only time ever in the history he's ever been defeated. And then we get into the stupidity of they forgot the fucking planet. This whole movie is just garbage. And now, looking back in hindsight, you can see poor fucking Josh Breeden coming in and a disaster that fucking WB and whoever else let blow up into garbage nonsense and he tried to fix it. It still sucks in that sense. You know, I'll watch Green Lantern for the fucking 12th time. I, I don't give a fuck. If I enjoy something, I enjoy it. I know it's bad. 
you've ruined your universe with the beginning of Man of Steel. Okay? You turn this watered down, devoid of life and color world that you tried to envision. And you know what? There's no love for um, this Snyderverse. There's a liking of things. Like, oh, that scene is great. There's the Batman warehouse scene in BVS. There's a, a flash scene in this movie. There's some... I bet he's fucking talented. I'm not saying he's not talented. You can see this guy is fucking talented. But do something. Rain, if you're going to keep him, rein him in, whatever. You want to give him this vision. Yes, there is a debate that could be had that you're ruining these fucking characters. Because you're just bullshitting everybody. Fucking Aquaman song has changed. And you want to be fucking artsy. It's just... Holy shit. The soundtrack is a fucking destroyed. There's not much soundtrack and music wise that I can get into with a lot of these movies. I will watch the extended cut of Lord of the Rings over any other cut as much as I can, if I can, if it's not on TV or something. Everything is epic. Music it just carries you away. This fucking Snyder cut it's jarringly bad. I want to make my fucking... I want to have fucking cultists yodeling for Aquaman. Take out his jamming bad boy theme and inject this fucking bullshit. So, I have two times that I really was taken away by music. One is Thor Ragnarok. The use of the Led Zeppelin song, it made me not breathe for a second. Like, I was so, uh, it fits so well. The second one is Wonder Woman's theme. Fucking love it. I love the first Wonder Woman movie. I enjoy the second one as bad as it is. I enjoy it. Uh, they ruined her theme. In this movie, you're not going to ruin the, that piece that I like, you know. They added this fucking irritating Jork Yodel chant nonsense every fucking time she does something. And instead of going right into her jamming theme, it's this fucking bullshit. And don't get me wrong. You want to do it once? Fine. You want to do it another time? And another time? And another time? And another time? You better change it. You better make variations. Right? You know, Avengers theme is catchy now. All that Hans Zimmer, you know, Danny Elfman stuff. I love all that stuff. But it's supposed to be subtle in the background. These people's themes are horrible. They're just... It's just a nightmare. And you look at it from an objective or a critical view, in my opinion, this is a bad fucking movie made worse by the Snyder Cut. I understand if you like it. I understand if you like it better. That it's more enjoyable. I'm not here to argue that or just, you know, put people down for it. Like what you like. It's just, I'm not gonna fucking get caught up in this hype nonsense and just doesn't feel right this whole fucking thing yes there is little bits of good put in and he's got an eye for things but when i looked at the comparisons i want to see fucking color how cool would superman's black suit look if there was color and you can see people's color again no everything is just fucking gray and that aspect ratio fuck you you know what? I don't. I don't. I don't care enough, and I'm okay enough to have boxes on the side. And I don't care. Yes, I would like to have the whole um, picture if I can. So, in, in that sense, I'm okay with it. It just doesn't work. 
It doesn't work here. It doesn't feel like it was made from the beginning with your own vision in mind for this ratio. It just doesn't feel right. Do I have to go in and do fucking uh, a week of uh, days of uh, research to find out? Yeah, this shit cut off the side because you wanted me. Whatever. You wanted black and white. And I think there's only one thing he didn't get in this fucking movie. I forget what it is. It's like only one thing did they really say this is what we want. I don't remember what it was. But he's got all this shit, right? He's got all his changes he wanted to make. And you got 40 fucking edit things. I don't know what it is, what the actual number is. But you got a four hour movie. Four fucking hours. 24 minutes of slow motion. You want to make a cool player scene? How about not making my brain think for a nanosecond? Hey, is this a pickle coming off this guy's burger? Or is it a seed drifting into the camera? Oh, how artsy, how fucking beautiful. Oh, let me have the flesh pull a little piece of hair out of the way. No, you know what you do? You fucking cut it up. You make sure you don't see the car going three miles an hour before it hits the end of a fucking truck, ramps up in the air, and she's got this la di da face on while she's getting ejected to her death. So we can have a cool flash fucking scene. And hey, you know what? I can make these, I can justify, make excuses. I'm a comic book lover. I don't have to say, you know what? Flash's feet would be ripped apart. It'd be nothing left because they show him burst out of his fucking sneakers. No, I could say, okay, you know what? As soon as he enters the speed force, it protects him. So this way he could be fucking hit into walls, go for 300 miles an hour, and slam into things. And I'll, I'll let that go. So I don't care that the, he burst out of his fucking sneakers, but the rest of his clothes are on. You know what I care about? you trying to fucking fool me when the glass shatters in real time. They see the fucking person out there the girl looks up at him the car flips in real time and then he wants to pretend he was with the dogs all the time you know you know what do it right so once again it just looks like gosh we can came in and cut this garbage out it's too much of everything that doesn't matter Everything. Aquaman. You fucking have them doing dolphin noises. You just had them talking in his movie. Zack Snyder knew this. I don't get it. I have this feeling like I would fight for this if it was my world. Like, I've got the Deadly Addiction Chronicles, and I want, well, I got, I, I, published i did the mushroom king so i also have um the smoking monk is the second book and the third book would be the five daily addiction now i could see my vision being important to me i really do because it's something i created it's it's intimate to me it was a world i created in half role-playing it with dungeons and dragons rules much like margaret weiss and tracy hickman for the dragonland series which i recommend it's great um, and I can also understand me getting a job or getting hired to write these characters as Superman and whatever. I hope I would be honest enough with myself to be, you know, in, to look inward enough to know what's best for the characters and the universe than my fucking vision that I will make a four hour, boring, dreary, color fucking faded movie and not do it well this is just the funny that's why i said in the beginning it's a product of the times great let it smash and break records i don't care you know what i do care about though i want to watch another justice league movie that's pretty good a fucking suicide suicide squad movie that's not fucking terrible okay I actually enjoyed Shazam. I enjoyed Aquaman. And I'm not saying they're great movies, they're good movies. 
enjoyable, so I'm okay. I don't have a fucking preference, Marvel or DC, but I'm honest enough to say, you know you fucking lost it. You And play it smart, do your solo movies now, fine. You're going to use a flash to fucking retcon everything with his movie. Cancel everything. Go ahead. End this fucking Snyderverse, please. You got an end scene with the Joker in the nightmare world that is fucking dumb. Ooh, Deathstroke Mira. Just fucking, you know, it's what he wants. It's just so, you can you can see it. Like, and I think if you look into the history, it might be that Justice League was supposed to be part one of a trilogy going into this fucking nightmare world. Oh, man. Just from beginning to end, this was such a disappointment. Going in with such hope, seeing him dark seed and what they're going to do with it. Ares fucking broke through his weapon, cleaved into his shoulder. He was dragged by his people, shooting blood everywhere, and passed the fuck out. Then fucking Josh Whedon made it so they had to drag Sephiroth away, right? He's like, oh, we'll fucking fight, but the, the battle was lost. There's too many fucking things going on. Uh, too many powers. You got Zeus, fucking Amazons, you know, the armies come. No. They want to fucking dog seed, get his ass kicked. Sent fucking packing. And then the one world... In all the multiverse, hundreds of thousands of worlds, or a hundred thousand worlds. The one where he was beaten, only once. Where the boxes are. And okay, so let's say there are more. He gets made, he gets them made on intervals and whatever. You don't know where the planet is. And then when Steppenwolf tells you. You don't come immediately and fucking take over. Is dumb. It is stupid. The plot is so obviously fucking flawed. You know what I think? I think at the end, it confirms that when they're looking through the portal and Doxy's looking at them, he's afraid. He's afraid. That's that's what I'm going to take from this cut. Steppenwolf tells them, or him, or the fucking, ooh, new Dissad. Jesus Christ. And this fucking horrible CGI mess that he's found the boxes and this planet has the symbol burned in. This is the planet that, according to Dissad, is all well known. The story. And when Darkseed comes into this mold to talk to him or whatever he says that once you get all three boxes complete the terraforming of the world I will come and claim my shit you're afraid this, this is the only place in the multiverse that a god of war bitch slapped you and you only didn't die because everybody got distracted and your people were able to drag you out Right? Hey, let's just, that's my logic. That's where it's going. Just we can cut you cut all that shit out. You cut all the shit that destroys your world building. You can see it obviously now. And I hate fucking defending this cocksucker now. I gotta be a fucking defender of Josh Whedon. But when you get blamed, your movie is fucking shame for Josh Whedonisms, and you find out that most of them are fucking Zack Snyder's to begin with. It's just hypocritical bullshit. I'm okay. You like this version better? Fine. How can you just start arguing with people about what they like? It's just... Whatever. But in my opinion, this movie sucks. Not worth the time or the effort to put in to watch this at all. I don't recommend it to nobody. And if I want to think critically and objectively... It's also 
a very bad movie. It is not better than the Josh Whedon cut in those terms. Not saying you don't like it better or whatever. The new information you got is, you know, enjoyable to you and you, you like the extended scenes. We're fine, whatever. I just don't know. Uh, this is a big fucking mess. And I've seen this with the Batman vs. Superman. You want to do three movies in one to get to your vision. Your vision is what matters more. You know, fine if fans are okay with that. Go, go for it. But like I said before, I think there's a legitimate thing about ruining the product. And it's enough is enough. So let's do the return of Superman and the formation of the Justice League. Rush everything that is just offhand bullshit. Oh, I got some really cool scenes and fleshing out cyborg. It's horrible. It's just bad. Omnipotent fucking guy doesn't do nothing. Can't save his father. Can't shut up the laser. You know. But they could have a scene. And you know what? I gotta go. I, I'm gonna say it anyway, but I'm gonna go back and look at hope. Here's a scene. Where Cyborg's mom is arguing with the principal that Cyborg cheated and got his friend's scores better. Now, it wasn't a reveal that he was tutoring them, right? Like one of those, I gotcha moments. Like, hey, we have evidence that your son hacked the computers, changed their scores to give them passing grades. And then you find out, oh, he's been tutoring them, he's a really good kid. No. They want to argue that he cares about people and it was a good thing. To hack into the fucking computers of the school and change their grades. Yay. And then, later on, he decides to give a lady $100,000 out of a fucking ATM. Because her ATM gives awards out. She won a contest. And you know what? Fine. I'll give them he can correct everything. There will be no traces to the IRS. But this is the changes you made. With things that you think are really cool and interesting and quirky and how his powers work. I didn't buy it all. And if you like it, fine. I don't think it works. I don't think we can sit here and have a uh, objective, a critical dis uh, discussion about this movie. And at any point, am I going to be convinced that these are good moves, good changes? And no, four fucking hours. I feel like making this fucking podcast four hours. I mean, I don't know. Alfred's cool. He was cool in the other one, sort of. Kind of like this, Alfred. Always have, I think, uh, Batman Begins, Alfred, you know. Okay. Um, and even, you know what? I I'll say it here. I don't like the second Nolan Batman movie. I'm not happy with that Joker. I don't give a fuck. But I won't debate that it's a bad movie. It's just one of the movies that doesn't get me. I'll debate the fucking third Nolan movie with Bane sucks and is a bad fucking movie but i see all these fucking things out there that just this is a masterpiece or whatever it's just fucking mind-boggling now what i what i would normally do in most cases is I watch a movie open up my notepad make some notes if i'm doing something like this you know justice league the we cut and this one and once I kind of get my own opinion formed, I might even watch it again, or I go to my, let's say, three favorite people. So I'll go Red Letter Media, Mauler, um, no, whatever, at the time, I don't know, fucking third one. 
Rockstar Media, something like that. And you go, you know, some other people here and there, and there were people who I mostly disagree with on a lot of things, and some I agree with. And I want to see what the impression is. So I try to at least have my own informed opinion. And then, look, I'm human. Things can be changed. And, but yeah, of course, I'm going to find out that it's 24 minutes of slow-mo. Not because I fucking checked and watched myself. So I make the decision to go and look and then find out about things. So this movie's getting way too much praise. It's just bullshit. It's more indulgence for fucking garbage nonsense. And I don't care how big that fan base is. Fine. Go fund me the Snyderverse. Make them come out in tandem with fucking DC movies. Fine. I want to see fucking Superman. I want to see him smile. I want to see him laugh once in a while. I want to see Flash interact and get to know the other characters in a special way. There's nothing in these fucking cuts. They're just garbage. There's an amazing scene in the Josh Whedon cut where Aquaman opens up and it's this real heartfelt moment. Everybody's looking around like, what? This isn't, you know, this is the, yo, I'm a loner, dude, tough guy. And then he realizes he's sitting on the lasso of truth. I'll take all that corny stuff any day. Bright, vibrant fucking color, neon fucking glowing craziness that the fucking Josh Whedon version was. I'll take Flash saving humans at the end. In this one, he's giving pep talks up the steps. That's it. In the Whedon cut, he's fucking using his fucking powers to get them out. Oh, and then, whoa, whoa, hold on. But when he gets them out, when they get out in this one, he does a really cool feat to stop debris on falling them. But then he could say no and have enough time for Cyborg to blast the last one. I guess he didn't have a fucking protein bar, which they didn't fucking use when you show ways of nerfing the fucking Flash, because you have to. To make your movies good, you want to give him limitations. So they showed in even its original Snyder Cut, I think. Uh, he has the pizza when Bruce Wayne finally, yeah, Bruce Wayne throws a fucking batarang at him. I don't even know what his power is, but okay. He's eating pizza. So you can have limitations on him. Like, you could see him exhausted and going, holy shit, you know, like, I need food. Thanks, Cyborg. Like, there's none of that. There's no character building like that. In the uh, fucking Judge Whedon version, they make it he's afraid. He's new. He's like, you know, like Spider-Man in his younger days where you know he's super strong but you know he, he doesn't have enough by the end of the movie though he's got enough confidence and he's fucking beating up villains and doing things this one he's like fucking doing nothing it's like oh i gotta charge up going around in fucking circles so superman could fucking burn body parts off the fucking by the way i kept wondering why i wasn't smiling during this fucking movie and in watching the um, Justice League and making a note, there's a scene where Superman comes back in a much more plausible way, by the way, in the Josh Whedon Cup, because he tells fucking Lois what's going on, and he's the one who brought her there, and she tells fucking Clark Batman needs her, and he explains shit to her. Much better fucking scene. And this one's like, oh, what the fuck are we doing? You know, he can take a vacation. Everybody's dead. Oh, just fucking... Jesus Christ, I'm gonna lose my fucking train of thought. Uh, Superman's... Murdering instinct. Blast people, cut body parts off. I love when he came back in the Josh Whedon and he goes, Is this guy still bothering you? And then he punches him. This one, no. How, why do he get his black suit? There's no fucking reason. This is what happens when you try to do really cool, fun comic book arcs in your movies and you suck at it. Black Suit was supposed to be what he came back with for certain reason. 
and it doesn't pop here. It doesn't have any fucking meaning here when everything looks black and white. How fucking awesome it would have looked with fucking the colors popping out. I looked at their fucking promo stuff and I chose to fade it out black and white for my fucking podcast because I wasn't going to use really cool colored versions for the fucking image on the fucking screen. Why should I? The whole fucking movie's blocked. It's like, holy shit. Oh, it keeps in mind. It's more truer to his theme. I don't care. I don't want to watch murky piss fucking pea soup on my screen for the whole fucking thing. At the end of the Josh Whedon cut, they're all standing there, vibrant colors, fucking, and they look out, and the world, or the, the area where the fucking villain was, is bringing new life into the world. And this one is fucking nothing. It's Holy shit. It's so shitty. Everything. Uh, yeah. What are we going to say? Oh, you know what? I really liked what they did with this scene. Oh, Batman's gauntlets were cool. Fine. You got Wonder Woman practical. You did the eye roll, the comment. Whatever. But tell me he ain't fucking dead. You took out the scene with him and Wonder Woman where he, she, he's got the bruises and she's trying to help him and she's saying why she isn't uh, a leader and why she stayed away and his issues with Superman. It's like all gone. And it's like, oh, it's better. Yeah, it's better when you want to get to fucking Superman who will become Murder Man. Where Batman will fucking use guns and kill because he's a... Look, I get it. Bat First Batman, Michael Keaton, he's fucking dropping a bomb in the fucking apex. The whole thing explodes. Yeah, I get it. I don't mind. Shoot your fucking cannons and your guns and blast everybody. I don't mind things. You just do it good. Do it well. It's not done well. Oh, this looks nice. You know, what was it? The Last Jedi? I think so. Uh, Holdo uses the hyperspace jump and it's fucking beautiful. It's beautiful. She destroys several of the star destroyers in the main ship and a hyper jump into it breathtaking but it's stupid and world breaking it just shouldn't happen it it's just you want to get style over substance this is all it is but i'm not even saying that's his whole career because like i said i'll fucking enjoy these movies i enjoy 300 even it's just not giving him the Superman praise or the, uh, the superhero praise that he seems to be getting. He's bad at this. Keep him the fuck away. And I don't mean keep him away like shut him out of the work. No. I don't care if you go funded me him or you have a separate division. You know what? Give Snyder the streaming service. Right? You know what? Go ahead. Um, if people love it, get more. I don't want... Get more. Snyder. M Warner Brothers. Get a division. Call it Elseworlds. Whatever. Oh, you know what? I don't care. Whatever. As long as I can get a movie with fucking color in it, eventually. Right? So, yeah, I'm going to be able to get my Wonder Woman, my Shazam, uh, what is it? Justice Society. You'll fuck up The Flash with the retcon, but so... F fine but i want color i want a little bit of comic book goodness in it i don't care if you want to turn a character dark and you want to make an arc for it it's done fucking amazingly all over the place but you got to do it right i can't fucking watch this garbage it's just bullshit and seeing all this fucking hype everywhere just you know, it amazes me. I'm not talking about hype about I like the movie. It's coming up with points that are easily countered and being oblivious to the counter argument and calling things a masterpiece. I don't like the fucking Joker movie, okay? I will never watch it again. I have no interest in it. 
But I'm not going to sit here and say it's a bad fucking movie. That it was made bad. Like, I don't see that happening. Much as I don't fucking like it. Fucking Green Lantern movie. I watched that movie so much because I'm a fanboy. I love Green Lantern. And I enjoy it. What a crappiness it is. But I'm not going to fucking argue how good it is. I could say you can ask me why I like this moment. And I can tell you why. And you might come to the conclusion. I like shitty stuff. Fine. and uh, Whatever. But this is fucking bad. It's boring, dreary, and horrible. Just like his fucking Batman vs. Superman and his Man of Steel. So, I don't want him on this shit no more. But I'm not here to say, you know, you get. Oh, you want to fire him? Fine, because it's deservable. This is bullshit. But, fine. Do a fucking web series. Do the Snyderverse. Do your fucking. Uh, nightmare scene so we can watch Joker give Batman a reach around. Um, we can watch Superman fucking pull Batman's heart out, uh, melt people's brains. I, I get it. It's fine. It's, it's a cool twist on things. Uh, you know, there's a great quote in one of the reviews I watch where they go, at least Homelander pretends to be a hero. <laughs> oh boy. What do you do? And I, I do disagree with a lot of people that even I like, and I think that's a good idea. You know, I don't want to listen, even though I don't like, um, uh, I don't know, whatever you want to call him, Chris Tuckman or uh, Jeremy Johns or whatever the fuck. Well, watch them, even though I think they're shows that, you know, even Kevin Smith, he's, you know, I will listen to his stuff, but, you know, I don't trust his fucking review of a movie in, in its quality sense. I'll judge it on, you know, he likes it, fine. If we have, you know, he likes a movie, I like a movie, we have the same taste, sure. But there's too much evidence that it's just all shell bullshit, so. You know, it's rarely you're going to find uh, this, uh, I guess it's not rarely, you just have to do a little bit of work. You, you know what I mean, it's just garbage out there. This is my fucking podcast for Justice League The Snyder Cut. And this podcast is like almost a fucking hour long, I think. And it's just talking about how a two-hour Josh Whedon cut, for whatever reason, I'm not blaming nobody, they were making a Justice League. They were going with Snyder's vision. Whatever happened, he had to leave. No blame. Calling Josh Whedon, he does his best. In my opinion... He did a better job. He took this garbage and made it a better movie. Now, Snyder comes, has all this hindsight, has all this information, has all this time, and he shits the bed. Justice League Snyder's cut sucks. I don't like it. I don't even think on an objective level is it a good movie. No, it's boring, dreary, lifeless, drained of color bullshit. I hope people are doing well. I hope things are going in a good direction. Take care of yourselves and everybody else around you. My best to you and yours.